Okay, what's up, babes? It's Curly to Victoria. I am back with another car vlog chronicle. This is not the first time, nor will it be the last time that I'll be making videos in the car. So, I don't have my camera. Let me try to clean this lens because it's a little dirty. I don't have my um my vlogging cameras with me, so I'm filming off of my 12 Pro Max and I'm sitting in the parking lot. Let's get started with this video and talk about my skin real quick. This is like an update recap, plus what I've been feeling lately um life lately that type of thing so first of all my skin is a little broken out i just know that it's probably because i could make better choices on what i've been eating lately i've been exerting a lot of um i've been exerting a lot of energy which has been causing me to eat more which also i've been drinking almost every day which is not good but because the, the weight is tacking on from it as well as the simple fact of like girl you're not supposed to be drinking this much okay i've been drunk like every day for the last like a few months almost okay maybe a couple times out of the week might be like uh, but for the most part i've been lit like every day so i wanted to make this video to talk about that skincare all that's getting back to place i didn't do my brows and i didn't do my lashes i'm just striving to grow out my lashes and then my brows you guys know they grow relatively quickly so i have not been getting my false lashes for now like almost two weeks I'm going to continue that, especially with it being summer. I think it'd be a perfect time for me to grow out my lashes again because I'm going to want to go swimming. I'm going to want to be in environments that will require me not to have my lashes. Anything I could do, strip lashes. But for right now, mm, yeah, at least for this week and, and maybe a little bit of next week, I might not have on false lashes. I may go back. I might not. I don't know. I just know I wanted to take a, a breather for about two weeks. So that's what I've done so far. But I wanted to talk about what my life has been feeling like lately, the, the inklings that I've been getting, the all of that that I've been feeling. So as you guys know, I am working to grow my brokerage. I am working to expand it. I'm working on intricate parts of it. I'm working, I'm doing everything that you could think of for my brokerage to move the way that it needs to move. And let me tell you this, I'm excited and I feel great. So I keep on having this feeling and I keep on having this like God in my ear real quick, you know, the angel and the devil, but it's both angels on both my shoulders because the devil ain't having no parts in what God got going on for me, okay? So it's like angel one and angel two is the way I'm looking at it, little messengers from heaven. And I'm really feeling like I am about to break through the barriers of success that I've been experiencing. I continue to keep on having this feeling like it, when you have this, I can't explain it. I cannot explain it and that is why it is so so real it's like you have this it's something about this feeling that you get when you know you are about to like you are about to be everything that you prayed for and everything that God wants you to be. I can't explain. It's, when you go to bed, when you wake up, you just keep feeling this feeling like I got to keep going because I'm so close to that breakthrough. I am so close to being everything that I desire and everything is going to start flowing my way. You don't have to chase what wants you. And I keep feeling like, you know, what God has for me, what wants me, what, what I'm desiring there's no need to chase because I am going in the direction that I'm supposed to go. If anything, it's going to chase me. Every time I look, I'm going to be meeting a network. Every time I do this, I'm going to be doing... And that's what I feel. Like, I feel it to my core that this is about to be a really good season for me. Entering my 30s back in February of this year has to be one of the greatest blessings because I believe that this decade in the 30s is about to be lit. The legacy is about to be created is fulfilled it's you know like these things are starting to happen i am in motion of everything that i pray for i'm in motion of everything that i want i have the necessary tools and resources to be who i want to be and to be who i need to be i have you know the smarts i have the intellect i have the things that i need to be equipped with to be successful and for that i'm thankful so I'm going to continue to keep working toward the things that I'm working on. I'm going to continue to keep being who I need to be. If you watch my channel, I just want to say thank you. I'm human just like you. I go through things just like you. Just because I don't choose to divulge everything that goes downhill in my life on my channel does not mean that I don't go through things like you. We're in different industries. We're different people. The blessings that God have for you and the blessings that God have for me are different. We could be doing the total. We could be in the same industry or different industries. I'm never going to get your blessings because they're not made for me and vice versa. So if you live your life 
feeling as though I don't have to try to be somebody else. I don't have to compete with somebody else. I'm competing with the greater version of myself. I'm competing with Kralisa Victoria from yesterday. You're always going to be on an upward slope. But when you start saying, I want to compete against her, I want to compete against him, I want to be better than them, I want to be. Now, I think if you want to have healthy competition to yourself about us, like if in, in the city, in your city, there's a statistic that said there's somebody who has opened up the most dental offices in the last six months. They've opened up three. And you want to be a record and be like, well, I want to be that person in history for four, go after it. But make sure that your intentions of your goals are pure. Because that right there is some healthy motivation. But don't be like, oh, I need to find out who is this person who opened up these three dentist offices because I need to be better than them and I need to da 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 No. Be you. The world needs a you. The world has too many of other people trying to be somebody else. Be you. Be authentic. Be original. People gravitate and people want to be around people who are authentic and who are original. I. That's why I'm so easy to detach because if I feel like somebody's faking who they are or I feel like somebody is around me who don't need to be around me, I'm de I detach real quick. It's something about when you've lost a lot in your life and you already don't trust a lot and you've already been through a, a wide range of emotions and you still go through those wide ranges of emotions you just have an ability to cut off and detach easier because you don't trust you're not that trusting anyway so for me detachment in ways could be really good because i cut off a lot of dead weight early on and i'm not one of those people who have to be shown millions of times about how somebody is before i actually get it so i'm grateful for that but I'm in a place where I want to welcome all things great, all things positive, all things. I'm not chasing nothing, but <laughs> myself on this treadmill because I need to lose some weight. But both ways, I'm just saying I'm in a really good place. And the, the way that I've been feeling in my life lately, I'm not going to lie. It's been chaotic and it's been overwhelming in certain departments, not going to lie. But if I ask God to enlarge my territory... He's going to do just what you, if you are asking for what it is that you want, then be expecting to receive. You know, you can't be asking God for this and that and not doing, pulling your weight to get what he's going to give. I, if I'm saying, Lord, I know accomplish this, I know accomplish that. Will you enlarge my territory of networking? Will you enlarge my territory of invitations to business events will you enlarge my territory when it comes down to gravitating the right people to me for my business will you when i'm thinking about those things those are the things that i'm talking about having god enlarge your territory enlarge my territory so even though i'm feeling like days where oh wow the weight of the world is on my shoulders i'm not gonna be the person who'd be like no just look at it positive right now no baby the weight is on my shoulders but you know, just because I carry it well doesn't mean it's not heavy. But if I'm asking and I'm praying and I'm doing my part, there's no challenge that I should be backing down from. So in the end of the day, you are going to be as great as the effort that you put out. If you're putting out no action, if you're not doing the things that you need to do to be who you want to be, then that's not going to happen. I can say all day, all night right now, God, I want to have two to five agents under my brokerage by next year i want to be able to determine do i want to renew my corporate lease where i matter do i want to go get another business and expand what i could be i could say all this i could pray all this but if i'm not putting in work am i building the sops am i reaching out to the quality agents or agent who continues to keep on keeping me in the loop with what she has going on am i writing the scripts of the things that you know are to come you know, like, am I writing the notes? Am I doing the, you gotta ask yourself, what work are you putting in? Cause what good is it to ask for things that you are not going to put the work in? I'm doing a lot of behind the scenes. Like, you know, even when I, you know, go shoot pool, I do things like that. And I'm always doing that. It's like, some people might look at that as like, oh girl, you always outside. But I'm outside getting my self care. I'm getting my mental, I'm getting my, you know, peace of mind. I'm getting things that are going to contribute to my future. Um, so when I'm out, I'm, I'm finding an outlet. I'm doing things, you know, I went to dinner with myself the other day, just to zen out, watched a little bit of the basketball game, had my little upscale vibes. As you guys know, I'm always gonna be with a vibe. You know, your girl is always gonna be with the vibes. That's on period. 
So God has really been enlarging my territory. God has really been taking me to places, greater heights. There's a lot of things that I share with you guys because you guys are my channel. You men and women are part of my channel, but there's a lot of things that I don't share and I keep in private because I believe that they need to be well kept until um, the time is for them to revolve and evolve. So I've just been having a lot going on. So I am praying that you guys will get a hold of your vision. Write the vision, make it plain, and be consistent. Consistency and discipline is going to yield you results. No matter what you think, no matter what you do, you will get the results that you want to get if you are consistent and disciplined. I could have a million dollar plan. If I am not being consistent, I'm not being disciplined, I'm not putting in the work, I am not getting to that million dollar plan. Because success is not going to fall in your lap, you know? It's not going to fall in your lap. Okay, you're gonna have to do the work, and I can't express that enough. Some of you come to my DM, some of you have seen me in person, and you encourage me for the things that I put out on my channel. Some of you have commented on the community post, some of you have commented in the comment section, some of you come to my other platforms. But let me tell you this one thing that I'm gonna tell you, one thing that I can tell you for sure, is you are literally going to have to continue to be consistent I, I pride myself on having a channel that's consistent and disciplined and also letting you guys know that I'm human I'm not perfect so that's why I actually I actually get excited about my own content on days because I'm able to show you guys the real authentic human version of myself there's so many people who get on social media these apps and they just completely become a whole nother person and I love to show you guys portions of who I am all of my platforms are going to show me in a different light clearly because they're different platforms different usages that I use the platforms YouTube is where you're going to get the most personable side of me Instagram you see pictures you see reels so you see like what's going on in my life and you see like a picture and a caption but YouTube you're hearing what I have to say and I think you know oftentimes on social platforms people make it like oh I'm so perfect I'm so and it's like no baby I'm not perfect I'm 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 so transparent that I'm willing to show you guys successes and failures. I was having this conversation the other day. I'm always giving you guys go to self credit app, do this, do this. Do y'all know that I raised my credit score over 150 points in two to three months by myself, no credit expert? Because when you have this, you will make the other things work. I'm calling, I'm making disputes. I'm, hey, you, I don't know why you got this on my credit because I've never done direct business with you. I need that removed. I'm negotiating for myself. You have to put yourself in a predicament where you are your negotiator for your life. If you're sitting here and letting make people make decisions for you, it's gonna be very difficult for you to get to where you want to. I'm on the phone and the lady's like, um, yeah, I'm gonna need you to pay this full amount. I said, first of all, sweetie, if I pay this, are you gonna remove it off my credit? Yes, you are. Okay, so let's get here. You're not my original debt collector, okay? In fact, I didn't even know I had an outstanding debt and I did not know it was with you. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take 50% off of the debt today and then we're gonna pay that. That way you can send me out my letter and you don't have to be trying to track me down to make future payments. I'm gonna be using a debit card. Do you have your machine ready? You gotta flip the script, baby. You know how many things I was able to um, do on my credit from negotiation removals I opened up more trade lines I was in a place and I told you guys before when I got sick with COVID all of my credit cards and everything went into decline like they were all being paid 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 and then you start slowly seeing this one wasn't paid that one wasn't paid and it was a ripple effect I was so sick that I didn't really care about the bills and I know that's not a good mindset to have but at, for a business or for a individual like responsibilities financially. But when you are that sick to where you're just trying to make sure that you live to see another day, that's the least of your worries. So it went on a decline and it started to affect me. I didn't want credit cards no more. I was so scarred. How was I paying and doing well with these things and now they all went in a decline and they've all negatively affected me so bad. Obviously I'm scarred. I don't wanna redo this type of situation again. I wanna get away from it. So then I started letting stuff fall off the credit. I didn't wanna apply to nothing. I didn't do nothing. 
So then recently I said, okay, I'm gonna leverage this situation. I'm gonna remove this off my credit. I'm gonna add these trade lines back. I'm gonna face my fear of wanting to get back into the credit world because of what I went through, just a traumatic situation of being sick and declines of my credit. And I said, we're gonna open the trade lines up. We're gonna let this hit our credit going to impact my credit. It's going to bring it down real quick, but it's going to go back up when I start doing what I'm supposed to do. Opened about five, six new trade lines, got things removed off my credit, started building the credit history again. I have not been late on one trade line since I've opened them. And my credit, with everything that I did, it was an array of things. My credit skyrocketed over 150 points in two to three months. No joke. No joke. Back in the 700s. Like, no joke. So what I'm trying to tell you is, it's possible to do what you need to do. And sometimes your credit isn't necessarily down because of everything on it so bad. Sometimes it's you're not utilizing credit. I tell people oftentimes, yeah, you could buy things in cash. Yeah, you might have you know this or that you could do, but credit is your report card. And if you plan on leveraging and using big business and stuff like that, like I said, a lot of rich, successful people are not using their credit cards. They're using, I mean, their debit cards. They are using credit everywhere they go. One, when somebody frauds you for credit, it's almost that thing of like, um, the process may take a little bit longer than um, debit card, but it's more secured on getting your funds back oftentimes. Um, debit, sometimes it takes a little like, uh, it's a hiccup. But also too, with credit cards, it's that thing of like, you're building credit and you're showing rapport that I could do and be what I need to do to be successful. So you should be using your credit. Um, and that's what I've just got back. You gotta get a healthy, you gotta get in a healthy relationship with wanting healthy for you. So with your weight, with your eating, with your spending habits, with your financial um, strategies, you have to fall in love with that. When you fall in love with how much money can I save in my bank, about, bank account of over how much can I spend, your life changes. Now, I'm a type of person, I'm a girl who loves her designers. I love my fashion and I don't love designers, fashion, sports cars and all this type of stuff for people. I've never been a person to try to impress people. I'm all about me. Not selfishly all about me, but like I'm all about what suits Kralisa Victoria. I'm gonna go in Ross if I wanna go in Ross and get an outfit. I'm gonna go in Louis or, or Chanel if I wanna, Louis or Chanel. That's what I want. So no, I'm not the type of person where people always wanna be like, oh, um, successful people, rich people, wealthy people, they don't buy designers, okay? Not every successful, wealthy person is like that. There are some who decide to be frugal and don't want to spend their money on expensive things. But I believe that if you are into designers and you're into that type of thing, you have one life to live, live it. Because yeah, you could be stacking your money, saving your money, investing your money, but we only got one life on this earth. So you might as well go ahead and live it to the fullest. You, it's possible to have properties, deeds, investments, titles, and all that stuff. And you can also have your, your designer bags. <laughs> so I'm always going to be that girl who's going to say, when you work hard, treat yourself. Some people treat themselves, wealthy people treat themselves and say, I'm going to take myself out to dinner because they're not into designer. But that don't mean they don't have a gambling problem. That don't mean that they don't spend their money on more alcohol than my bags add up to in a month. That You know what I mean? Everybody has their thing. And just because designer isn't their thing, I'm getting so tired of that. Successful people don't spend their money on, okay. I might have bought, you know, a bag and you might have wanted to go buy a car or a, a, a boat. It's all gonna depreciate my bag. At least I know my bags that I buy, they appreciate. You depreciating and I'm appreciating. Even certain vehicles, they appreciate with time for certain reasons. But my purses, I could sell all of my designer bags right now and nearly get double the profit of all of them because all of them have gone up. Like all of them. So, it, it, I mean, you could think about, like if I had to cash out on all my bags and, be, and, and put the money in the bank account, maybe we're good, okay? But... Like I said, you have to get to a place where you are content and you are literally living the life that you want. Don't let somebody get in the way of, oh, well, if you're successful, you won't spend on this and that. No, sis, if you're working for it, bro, sis, you can have it. You can have whatever you desire because that's that's your business. In the words of Tabitha Brown, because that's my business. But anyway, yeah, that is your business. But I've just been having this inkling that great things are coming for me and I know great things are coming for you but you guys have to get back in that habit of building the business building the, the brand building the goals I have so much that I'm working on and I'm so excited to tell you guys but again 
we keep it private until it's time to make it public okay and yeah so stay tuned and follow me here on instagram well follow me here on youtube instagram tiktok all those my name carlisa victoria is where you can find my main pages any other associated pages with youtube or with Instagram, you can find it in my bio box. And if you don't find it there, I have other pages that you'll probably discover. But my main page is Curly Victoria. I talk about updates from these uh, videos that are going up. I talk about a lot of things. So if you want to tap in, tap in there. Um, I I will start letting you guys know exactly what is going to be um, going up and what's relaunching and launching. I'm so excited. But I will tell you this. As far as my... Um, cosmetics for my beauty line and my hair products and things like that those are going to be available soon i am going to sell out of my old collection of lipstick so girls if you guys are watching this channel or even men and you have wives or girlfriends or whatever it would have been perfect to purchase on mother's day but i didn't really take the time to advertise for it but um i'm going to be selling out my old collection of beauty products and then we're going to be relaunching rebranding different brand uh things i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm so excited one of my line sisters she literally used to be buying my lashes up one of my homegirls from college she was buying my cosmetics up i love when and i was shopping her clothing line the thing about it is i support things well, obviously you want to support the people who you know but they were really repeat supporters because they really liked the product so i'm that type of person too i might support something to support at first but if i don't like it i won't be a repeat buyer but i will you know if i know it's something i'm gonna support or if you guys haven't restocked or whatever that might be the case but i'm gonna go ahead in the video make sure you like comment share subscribe i'm vlogging a vlog today and then i'm gonna go back and strive to upload like all of the content that i have on my sd cards because i have two sd cards and i feel like i'm not seeing all of my footage so i'm not sure if it was erased if it is then i won't be able to post that but i'll keep you guys in the loop make sure you like comment share subscribe and again happy mother's day talk to you guys soon